on 29 January 2022, the national capital sky lit up with a thousand drones. And it was not just another show, but rather a spectacular event put up by Made in India Drones, highlighting this year's beating retreat ceremony. From a silhouette of Mahatma Gandhi to the map of India, to showcase the government's achievements and initiatives over the years, the synchronizing drones gleamed in the night sky in myriad colors to form various shapes. The drones used during the ceremony are the brainchild of Bot Lab Dynamics, a startup incubated at the Indian Institute of Technology, IIT Delhi. In an exclusive interaction with the co founder of this startup, Dr. Sarita Halavat, we talked extensively on the preparations, challenges, and the story behind putting on this mega show which enthralled the audience. So now you've asked me a question about uh, how did we scale up from 100 to 1000. It was daunting. We were scared at first. But then we said we are at IIT. Uh, why not give it a shot? Uh, so the in terms of technology, we were ready. We were ready for scaling up. All we needed was resources. In that Department of Science and Technology, TDB and IIT Delhi helped us with the funding. As soon as we got the funding, we started scaling up and then we realized, oh God, the world is going through crisis because of the COVID. The supply chain has totally broken and we had to manage all the parts, so for example, batteries and propeller and motors. And it pretty much at the last minute, we got all the component and the, the biggest hurdle that we had to overcome and which is a lesson of our story is that the we ran out of a chip. The world ran out of a chip, the uh, main chip that we use in our drones. And because we had know-how, we've been working on drone technology for six years. So we knew how to go around it. We found another chip, which is cheaper, which was available. And we could just uh, scale it up with the new chip. So this is possible if you know how to do things. And I think that's what uh, we need to uh, try and aspire for that we have the capability to build uh, things. The most important aspect of the show remained that it's all indigenous. BotLab Dynamics worked to take in from scratch to build not just a show for the day, but through this putting India on the world stage and building an ecosystem for drone technology. Let's know how. So we've been uh, insisting on building hardware for the beginning of, uh, since the inception of our startup. So that has been our motto to build the entire system and that's why it's taken us quite a bit of time. So when you think of drone, there are few components. Uh, so in terms of uh, value, 80% of this drone is indigenous. So for example, flight controller, GPS, motor controller, they're all built by us, designed by us. So that's the electronic comp part of it. And it uh, took us uh, 10 to 12 iteration of each uh, component that we built. Now coming to the body, uh, we designed the body in-house mm. and we took uh, help from professionals and who kind of gave us feedback. And so once the body design, the software was ready, uh, we got the mold made in Jahangirpuri. Mm. And then we took help of people who make plastic parts to convert the mold into plastic parts. Without a doubt, the show was magnificent. But aren't you eager to know how those tiny drones in perfect synchronization could do something so big? Let's hear the technical aspect from the founder of BotLab Dynamics, Tanmay Bunker. Okay, so uh, this is our precision flying drone. So we have made this so it can place itself very precisely in the sky within 10 centimeters of where it is supposed to be. And it carries a payload of an LED panel like this. So this is a 15 watt panel. Uh, this can make uh, 16 million colors. So the drone takes this panel to a designated spot in the sky where at a certain uh, time it displays a certain color of a certain brightness. And when you have a lot of these, you can make any picture in 2D or 3D in the sky. So uh, the drone is capable of flying for 17 minutes uh, after a fresh battery is inserted into the battery cavity. Uh, you can hot swap the battery so you don't lose the GPS lock. Once the drone is active, it takes about a minute to locate itself using GPS. And after that, we give a command at which point all the drones know that this is uh, the time uh, which they take as zero and then they sync themselves with that time. Uh, the GPS gets the correction to this antenna. So we have a base station which uh, is feeding GPS corrections into the drone. So a normal GPS has an accuracy of about five meters. This particular drone has an accuracy of 10 centimeters. So that's how we make very precise grid in the sky. The startup is led by two IIT Delhi alumni, Tanmay Bankar and Anuj Kumar, 
along with Dr. Sarita Ahlavat, who holds a PhD in bioinformatics from the University of Illinois. All three had one thing in common. They wanted to make something in their own country. Let's hear from Dr. Ahlavat how her journey has been and how she became a part of Botlab Dynamics. In the playground. So, <laughs> so surprisingly, we met. Uh, I met my friends and the co-founder while we were running. So we had decided to run a half marathon. Mm -hmm. So for six months, we were training for Delhi half marathon. And while uh, we were running together, uh, Tanmay Anuj and I, we realized the challenges of building hardware. Uh, that I found that even being at IIT doesn't solve a problem. Uh, the ecosystem is not as robust as any other country, even small countries like Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan are doing much better when it comes to building hardware than us. And when I learned this and uh, being at IIT, the exposure was quite a bit in electronics and challenges. And uh, at that time, Tanmay and Anuj were already into, has incubated uh, Botlab Dynamics and uh, after six months I joined in. And in the six months I learned the challenges and I thought, uh, I would fit in very well with the team because principally we are together. We, we, I have always wanted to build things and uh, throughout my career I've been building different kind of technology. So uh, it wasn't a very different uh, goal was same, the team uh, and then we came together and ever since we are together. In the conversation, Dr. Elavat talked extensively about the future aspirations of Botlab Dynamics and the sector in which drone technology will be prevalent. Future aspirations can be long term and short term. In short term, we want to make a world record. We are looking for help. And so China and Russia are the leader in this technology. Uh, last year, October, Russia made a world record with the 2,500 drones within three weeks. China broke it with 5,500. So we want to at least attempt very soon uh, be in the top three and come up with at least 3,000 to 5,000 drones and then go uh, 7,500 drones by next year. Yeah, it, it just, I am like imagining it in my head right now. So I, I think if the, given the right support in India, we have the skill set, we have the, you know, uh, the will and the desire to do it. And I think with the right help, uh, it can be done and we should be world leader in. And I, I really see drones... Uh, contributing hugely in logistics, surveillance, defense, the name a sector, air taxi, transportation, everywhere, even inventory management. In So everywhere drones have. So why not uh, India claims this domain uh, and it's really just beginning. So I think uh, it's really the right time for drone community to come in and then government and private sector to help. It is a stated fact that science is involved in every aspect of our being and therefore Science is essential when building a nation. Dr. Elavat emphasized on how taking the side of science and technology, our nation can progress. So I used to run a program with the PhD students called Living Science. That was the question uh, Living Science was trying to answer. Why aren't people excited about science in India? Why are not everybody excited? Because science is actually, uh, science and technology is uh, one thing that ca takes countries forward. Countries don't go forward uh, without science. And in recent, if you see examples, China, US, South Korea, they've all taken uh, side of technology and they've made uh, progress. And the countries which have not taken side of science and technology, they have been left behind, be it healthcare or, uh, you know, any sector, you name it. Uh, so one thing is that uh, science and uh, one, I would say in my experience of doing living science for a uh, few years, uh, there's a really great amount of science, good quality science happens in India. Only one thing is media and other <laughs> people don't pay much attention. And also Indian scientists are very humble. They don't try to. Uh, so one is the good science happens. The other thing is uh, India per se, uh, if you put yourself against China, US and Russia, you country as a, as a country, you do not put much money in R&D. We are spending less than 1% of our GDP on R&D. So we have to do R&D more. So in proportion, we are doing good. So what we are getting, we are doing good scientists. But of course, there is more demand. Uh, because now, if you look at the papers that are coming, so IIT Delhi does very well in terms of number of papers it publishes. And same story for rest of IITs, ICGB, NII, a lot of institutions are doing very well in papers. Mm -hmm. What we are not able to do is convert that science into technology. Mm -hmm. For that also you need resources. And uh, 
but now the situation is changing lot of iits are encouraging startups like us uh, they are giving us space and funding and i'll give you an example that bottle of dynamics is fully funded by government of india and so because initially uh, other place won't take this risk right. and now because there is success stories with flipkart and you know swiggy and uh, examples like that zomato uh, so software that kind of industry has been respected and a lot of people are becoming entrepreneurs mm -hmm. people like us and ether you know the scooter uh, manufacturing company from chennai iit chennai they started mm -hmm. uh so now the attention is also coming to hardware that india can also manufacture hardware and my personal belief is if you look at china why they have become number one now in wealth and technology is because they can build things right. when we say build thing they can make electronic components so they can go to mars with the component that they have made themselves and i think that should scare india and also encourage india and inspire india that we need to build technology at home you cannot be dependent on anyone and that is what uh, i hope that when we did this show at beating rate it draws attention that more and more technology solution be it an entertainment i mean it looks like an entertainment but lot of technology went in and you said you know rightly that we built everything indigenously it took us time but we could make it so i think in more encouragement uh, more solutions can come right belief put in the right technology with the motivation and funding pouring in india has the potential to do everything stated impossible and everything possible we will be bringing you more such stories thank you for watching